Hey everyone, Regal Reviews here. It is Wet Rice Wednesday, and it's the premiere of Survivor Game Changers, and it also marks the 500th episode of Survivor. Congratulations to the cast and crew of Survivor. It's such a huge accomplishment. So the episode was two hours, and the first part of it started off with them on a boat, and they're all scrambling to get supplies for their tribes, which is, you know, pretty normal. And what I found fascinating is, you know, there was an advantage, a big toolkit out in the ocean, and... Um, each tribe had a chance to get it. Well, Ozzy goes out in the water, and, you know, that's understandable, because he's known for being good in the water. But nobody goes after him. They just... Malcolm said to Haley, oh, it's Ozzy. We're... No one else is going to have a chance. I'm like, so nobody's even going to try to go after him? Um, somebody actually did. Caleb actually tried to go and try to get the toolkit from Ozzy, and Ozzy ended up getting the toolkit. Um, but there's also a secret advantage on the boat, and Sierra, um, the, I, I will say, um, because there's two Sierras a season, the blonde Sierra, um, got it, and I did not like her during her season, I thought she was a bit of a goat, so I was disappointed that she got the advantage, but we find out, um, that it is, the legacy advantage has returned, and I believe the rules are that you can play it, um, with you have to play it with either 13 people left in the game or six people left. I believe that's what the rules were for that. But um, you know, everyone goes back to camp. You know, they're all doing the you know usual welcome kisses and hugs routine, but it's all cut short really quick. Um, Tony um immediately says, "I'm gonna go look for the idol." So he's um yelling, running all over the place, and. He claims that he was just saying it to, you know, get people, um, on edge, I guess, but then he was actually starting to go for the idol. I'm like, you're already a winner, you already have, like, a big target on your back, but you're gonna start doing this now? I mean, I love Tony, don't get me wrong, but I thought that was a bad move on his part. So, everyone's wondering, you know, when is the right time to get Tony off because of that whole um, fiasco. And then, it's also kind of another war on the Nuku tribe between Ozzy and Siri. Um, apparently, it's been a while since I've watched, you know, the earlier seasons of Survivor, but Siri, um, orchestrated Ozzy to get voted off. So, apparently, eight years later, Ozzy's still holding a grudge of Siri, and, you know, she's asking, you know, is everything cool between us? And he's saying, oh, yeah, 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 we're cool, but he's telling everybody, you know, we need to get, um, we need to get Siri off, and poor Ty is, um, stuck in the middle. He, um, was originally talking to Ozzy, and then he went over and talked to Siri, and then Siri, um, when Ty, like, took a long pause, she immediately, you know, thought, so Ozzy's not cool with me, so Ty's kind of putting a target on his back, kind of getting in the middle of the whole Ozzy and and Siri, um, war, but the first immunity challenge was, like, an obstacle into the water, and they had to get on a raft, swim out, and I believe they had to go, um, they had to, I think they had to retrieve puzzle piece, and they had to go up and over, and then under, no, they had to go up and then over this, like, log, turning log, and then they had to go back and give the puzzle pieces. There was a lot going on in that challenge. But, um, we see that Debbie was, um, struggling with the locks because he had, it was like a three lock combination, and then once they solve that, they can, um, they can work on this, like, pirate ship, um, this pi not pirate ship, but, the, you know, a pirate wheel type of thing, so Debbie was struggling to get the combination, and then the, and new Debbie's on the, well, first of all, I should say, like, who's on which tribe, so nobody gets confused. The mana tribe consists of, um, Sandra, Tony, Troyzan, Haley, um, Brunette, Sierra, um, Malcolm, Varner, Caleb, 
Aubrey, and Michaela. The Nuku tribe consists of Ozzy, Debbie, Brad Culpepper, Siri, Zeke, Sarah, Blonde Sierra, um, Ty. I think I said Sarah. And, and, and Andrea. So, um, Debbie was working for the, um, Nuku tribe, and she couldn't get it undone, and, you know, Mandel looked like they were catching up, but then, um, it was kind of, like, really neck and neck there for a while, because Zeke and Siri were working on the puzzle, and Sandra and Sierra and the other tribe were working on it, and they tried it a couple times, it didn't work, and it ended up being the Nuku tribe who won the first immunity challenge, so congrats, um, to Nuku on that. So, Man was really trying to figure out, like, who to vote off first, and they immediately think of, um, Sierra, because she was, um, already, I guess, what, how Malcolm put it, um, taking a zen out of the game, and she was already throwing names out there, or should they get rid of Tony, because, you know, obviously he was, um, they're kind of worried that he might have an idol, he might pull out an idol, because... They also have to worry about um, what Jeff told them about this new rule in place that in the event of a tie, there will be no revote. They have to come to a unanimous decision. If they can't come to a unanimous decision, then they'll go to rocks. So that makes it a bit more complicated for them. So um, when Sierra comes and, and asks, hey, who, who are we voting off? They say Michaela. So then when Sierra goes and tells Michaela that, Michaela gets pissed and, you know, understandably. But her whole thing was, like, trying to keep lay low and kind of not be known for her reputation from last season. And she's kind of making her self known the way she, like, her, Michaela's biggest thing is that her her mouth really gets in the way and her temper so, Michaela was really struggling to control herself, so um, she definitely wanted Sierra to go home. So, at the Tribal Council, they were discussing that it was coming down to who was weaker and who are the, was the weakest one in the challenge, but also who's um, most threatening, and they ended up sending Sierra home, and I really think they made a good decision there. Because she's known their past seasons to be sneaky and conniving and cause um, rock draws and ties. So I definitely think they made the right decision there. And then um, the second half of the episode, um, on Mana, um, it seemed like Tony is making his own alliance consisting of him, Caleb, Aubrey, Malcolm... Yeah, that's who it is so far, I believe, and and Sandra. And it seemed like things were going great there for a while. I thought that'd be, oh, this is a nice alliance. You know, the winners are going to be working together. But, you know, Tony never sleeps when he's out there on the island. So he um heard Troy, Zan, and Sandra talk. And they're talking about they need to get rid of Tony. And, you know, Tony's, you know, um he didn't go with a spy shack this season. He went with a spy bunker, which I thought was genius. And he says, hey, what, what were you guys talking about? And Sandra comes up with this excuse, um, um, talking about the crates. And I'm like, Tony's not that stupid. Of course he knows what you're talking about. So, um, then Tony then feels like he can't trust Sandra then. So then that kind of puts him in a bad position because then he only has four members of his alliance. And they see Sandra gathering people together. Um, Sandra was able to gather Haley, Troy Zan. Um, and Varner and Michaela. So Sandra has, um, um, really good alliance going on. She's like in the dominant alliance and how the people are saying that she's won before is that she's, you know, just had her little, she's been able to sit back and let her, um, little alliance members do everything for her. So Tony's kind of a little bit on edge and same thing over at Nuku. Um, we haven't really seen... We haven't really seen Ozzy gather any alliance members, but Siri's trying to 
um, scrambled because she knows that she's like a big threat over there. So she's trying to um, get Sarah to go along with her. And Sarah said that she wants to, um, she says for right now she wants that to Siri that she's going to align with her. But um, Sarah's playing a different game this time. She's not going on her word. Um, Sarah is... Um, kind of being like a secret assassin as according to what she said so, and Siri was trying to pull in Zeke and Zeke was all for it. Zeke seemed like she, he wanted to align with Siri but also knew that she was a threat and he she tried to even pull Debbie in which I'm like oh I'm liking this alliance so far but Debbie's very wise to Siri and can see right through her that she's a big threat and they're also getting pretty annoyed with Ty and the chickens. I mean, as we saw in Kyle Wrong, that he loved the chickens and actually kept Mark the chicken the whole game. And he's feeding more food to the chickens than to the actual tribe members. And I'm an animal lover like Ty. I get that. But when you're feeding more, more to the chickens, that's taking away from the tribe. So in this next challenge, um, they had to go in the water again. They had to go in a cage and get a snake. And bring it over and bring it back to the beach and the snake had puzzle pieces in it and apparently the snake was very heavy so it wasn't easy to get out and Nuku was flying through the challenge like they were able to work together really well and get the snake over and Mana was like struggling to just get the snake and looked like Varner wasn't really doing anything he was just kind of like managing the tribe so Nuku um has a really strong lead and they're able to um, get the able to get the puzzle pieces and Debbie. Of course, I think she's is the puzzle queen of Survivor. Was able to, I believe she had to do well. The lock combination was the last immunity challenge, but I believe I don't remember what Debbie had to do, but she um. I'm not unlock the locks no um she had to unlock the locks last time this one was the combination I believe and now they had to throw rings and spell out immunity and it was JT and Sierra and Sierra was doing a great job in this challenge she was able to get like four down and then JT got some but then M Mana caught up to them and Malcolm every shot he throw he made so it looked like they were gonna win but um JT and Malcolm kept missing. Every time it looked like it, the flag was going to flip up, it would flip up and then go back down. And it was really close there for a while, and it ended up being Nuku that won the second immunity challenge. So I definitely think that I picked the right, tri the right tribe. So on the Mana tribe, it was kind of coming down to the two winners, Sandra and Tony. Um... Tony's trying to make a point that Sandra's already won twice. It would be stupid to let her win again. And on the opposite side, they don't want Tony to have control over everything and that he's so paranoid that they don't want that around camp and they don't want to be always constantly waking up at 4.30 in the morning wondering if Tony's going to be building a spy shack or going to be looking for idols. So... Um, the problem, like I mentioned before, is that Tony has four alliance members, so they thought maybe they can bring in Michaela because, as we all know, Michaela really loves to win. I mean, anybody out there would love to win. But Michaela's frustrated, and it seems like Michaela's going to go with Tony's alliance. And at Tribal Council, it really looked like everything was going Tony's way. Like, even Varner was saying that he agrees with Tony, and... It looked like Sandra was going to go home because Tony was mentioning how they need to get rid of the weaker players. And he, Malcolm brought up that they need to get rid of the weaker players to, you know, so they don't keep losing. But unfortunately, it ended up being Tony that got sent home. And I was so, I was sad. I was team Tony, but I definitely get why they made the move because he was kind of acting... Too paranoid too early. I mean, and Kagiana might have worked, but now that he's been on before, it didn't really work in his favor. So I'm really sad to see Tony go. Um, the previews from next 
for next week, it shows that they're already going to be doing a tribe swap. So, um, that'll be interesting. Since there's 18, there'll probably be three tribes and six people on it. So, I'm very curious to see, um, how the tribes, the new tribes, um, are able to work together and if Nuku will be, um, keep on the winning streak. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the, um, Survivor Game Changers premiere. I hope you guys enjoyed my Survivor recap. And until next time, oh, and if you guys want to catch Survivor, I believe it goes back to an hour episode next week. It is on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. on CBS. Until next time, stay regal.